Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna install Nemesis version 2 which is called Titanium, that is its code name. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how to install it and then we're gonna have a quick look at what kind of features it has and what look it has. This ROM was released recently, I believe yesterday, by the Nemesis dev team. You can find a download link for it in the link in the video description. So anyways, uh, if you're planning on installing this ROM, you can start off by downloading the zip file to your SD card. And the next step, as usual, is to boot into recovery mode. So first of all, power off the phone again. Then hold the three button, the three button combination. The home button, the power, and the volume up. Also, this kernel comes with a free, uh, doesn't come with a kernel. So uh, this is a plus. This kind of guarantees that you won't get any boot whoop, no conflicts, like being stuck on the Samsung Galaxy Y logo. This logo is what I'm talking about. Uh, like in the previous version so yeah okay so next thing is you boot into Google mode recovery mode I have a custom kernel and I have it integrated if you do not have it you can force the zip file you can find a link for that a download link for that in the link in the video description so anyways once you're in here the first thing you need to do is you need to wipe data choose yes to clean everything up The next thing you do is you wipe the cache partition. Choose that and choose yes. Now we're done with this. Let's head to install zip from SD card. Choose zip from SD card and locate the Nemesis zip file. It should be in here. Here it is Nemesis 2 Titanium signed. And now again choose yes to begin installing the ROM. And it just begun. So this should take about I believe 30 seconds or so, so uh, do not waste time, I'll be back once it is done. And install from SD card complete, it is done. Simply go back and choose reboot system now. So this time I'm not going to cut the video, I'm just going to speed it up so that you can see the boot animation. Okay, it is now booting up, so I'll begin speeding up the video now. And okay, we are here. So the font language is English. I'm just gonna skip these for now. And just get on with the home screen and everything else. So it appears that the battery bar comes with this ROM enabled. If you find it annoying, you can disable it. And uh, sorry, the status bar seems to be in the icons seem to be in white color some weird force causing message I just got but hopefully everything seems to be alright this is the status bar it is transparent as you can see and this is the notification screen what we see here this is what we have and in here I suppose we have the shortcuts to the toggles and everything else okay so the media scanning is currently slowing me down a lot, but we're here, okay? I, I'm not sure if my camera can see this at the moment, but these are the toggles, the shortcuts on the notification screen. Here we have a lot of stuff. You have to have a reboot, power off, uh, auto rotation, basically the toggle options, but recovered with a different style, okay? Let's again have a look at the launcher. So these transitions remind me of the minimalist S3 launcher which we checked a while ago here we have the phone APK, contacts, messaging, the browser I suppose and the app drawer here okay this definitely looks like minimalist S3 uh, launcher a bit modified I suppose so yeah okay um, so first of all let's have a look at a uh, quick look at the teaming Let's see how the dialer looks. This is the dialer, has the uh, holo look somewhat. Let's have a look at the contacts. 
this is the style of the contacts okay the messaging is what we have here let's have a look at the keyboard it has a transparent background uh, pretty cool looking it looks good okay let's see what kind of browser we have uh, it doesn't seem to be installed now this is weird I'm not sure why it, say, it says that okay so it comes with no free CPU control a uh, few more other apps super SU comes rooted we have the quick panel shortcut here EDT tweaks of course music player let's have a look at this complete action using analysis music Android music okay so let's have a look at both of these let's start off with the first one this is what we have here okay um, let me start up a song just real quick to see uh, this annoying pop-up keeps showing up, but I suppose if you enable it uh, to not ask you anymore, it won't show up, okay? This is the first option which we use for the music player. Let's play the song with the second music player. Let's see what we have in here. So, this one opens up a totally different metal uh, uh, screen. Okay, this is the second. So yeah, if you don't want these pop-ups to show up all the time, you can just set it to default. It gives you that option. So okay, that's for the music players. Okay, let's head to the gallery. It seems to have a transparent background as you can see again. Many apps have transparent backgrounds. Let's have a look at the settings real quick and see how they are organized. They are also transparent. As you can see here, we have an over-the-air updates feature again. So that's good. That's good to have. And... Uh, basically here the same old options uh, more and so on and on this time there doesn't seem to be uh, any shortcuts here included to the irritate tweaks and so on and on uh, they seem to have shortcuts here the quick panel settings you can see them here and the irritate tweaks here so you can change the colors, letters, quark positions, options and stuff such as that you should be familiar with these pretty much any custom ROM nowadays has it this is the task manager you can quickly access back apps when you tap there and uh, let's open the actual task manager okay once again transparent background here let's clean this memory up a bit okay and uh, uh, earlier the browser will not open from here but actually it seems to work from the app driver but not in the shortcut down there I'm not sure why but from here I can start the browser as you can see this is the nemesis browser which they are using and uh, my packet there seems to be off for some reason oh, and this is the nemesis hub they seem to have uh, separate options APK an app for their stuff we have user interface settings um, a lot of customizations here as you can see a lot everything is in one place performance tweaks which opens up the no free CPU CPU states I suppose this is CPU spy power saving mode uh, yeah a lot of stuff audio and video tweaks uh, many many customizations here as you can see a lot of customizations and okay uh, as for the camera I suppose it is the nemesis camera yep it looks uh, changed we have screen filter we have nemesis sound booster again a lot of options here this these ones are for the audio and now Speaking of no internet, I was about to check the settings. Let's have a look at what's going on here. I'm gonna head to mobile networks. Now my packet data is activated, but it doesn't seem to work. If this is a bug, this is bad. And I have a feeling it is. And actually, it appears that my APN doesn't is, is not here. So I'm gonna try to reset the default and see what happens. If not, you might have to add it manually, but okay, here it is. It has now been re-added and hopefully the packet there will come to life. In the meantime, I'm gonna have a look at the Wi-Fi. 
let's have a look if that is working or if again we have conflicts okay so let's see if it detects networks it sure does let me try to connect Okay, Wi-Fi is working without any problems as you can see it managed to start it up and everything else so that's good to know now back to the mobile data settings uh, I'm gonna turn off the Wi-Fi now I'm gonna turn on the packet data and packet data is working okay this is how you solve the problem obviously you select the option to reset to default so that's good to know that it is fixed and lastly let's have a look at the power menu okay it is transparent once again and this is an extended power menu as you can see you have a lot of options here you can boot into recovery directly into download mode you can take a screenshot you can also toggle the data network mode okay that's good let's have a look at what we have when you won't press uh, this option comes by a launcher but forget that let's have a look if they have included any wow papers so Let's have a look at the default wallpapers. I'm, I'm not actually sure this could be from the launcher. I forgot, I can't really remember, but these are the wallpapers which you get when you install this ROM. As you can see, they are quite a lot actually. Yep. Pretty sure you might like one of these, whatever, whichever it is. And that's about it. I can't really show you much. You can check that out for yourself if you are planning on installing this ROM. This was the installation video and a quick preview of what it has. Thank you for watching everyone and please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Goodbye.